chill it. Don't spill it. Today we have the first 35 minutes of Brahmastra. <laughs> Hey, welcome back to our stupid Drake seats of Corbin. I am not. It's because he's boycotting it, everyone. You all yeah. know this. Yeah, it's so funny. You know what the origins of boycotting are? Uh, when boys sleep in little cots. That's my joke, but thanks. Yeah. Um, it's from your land. It's from Ireland. And historically, the boycott, boys and girls, has been for a singular moment protesting something morally reprehensible that needs to be changed in society. Yeah, like Bollywood! The constant hashtag boycott BS of every film just because you think that's a cool thing to do evidences your lack of intelligence and your stupidity combined. It's the coolest thing I can think of. <sighs> Today we got a new trailer, not from Bollywood. Uh, I th it's his, uh, Boycotting it? I hope so. Uh, Mamoudi, so I'm assuming it's Malayalam. Uh, it's hashtag boycott Malayalam. <laughs> Never. This is Rorschach. Hashtag boycott Corbinizations. Rorschach, Rorschach. Rorschach. That's the psychological test. Rorschach, Rorschach. Rorschach. You know about that? Not to be confused with Horshack from Welcome Back, Cotter. Ooh, ooh, Mr. Cotter! That was not scripted, by the way, or rehearsed. Well, him saying it in the show probably was. What he did, but not what we did. Nah. Because what we did was cool. Anyways, I don't know this about it. I just know it's Mo Moody. It's Rorschach. And it just came it's out. It's a psychological thing. No, I don't know. Is it? Like, it's got to be. If, it, it's, if, it, if, it's, if it's involving a Rorschach test, I don't even there's going to be this. ink blots. and. Oh, is that what that is? Yeah. Okay, now I understand. I see a penis. Here we go. <laughs> What was that final image? Uh, it looks like him in like a uh, a uh, like a mental ward, obviously. So he's probably that's probably where the name comes from. He's probably he's, maybe because um, that's yeah. Unless that means unless something that else. means something in, else, in, in, in and it album. very it very well could. It just may be coincidental that it's it's Rorschach. Rorschach. Is that what that? Just like it shouldn't say that. Yeah, Rorschach. Uh, looked cool. Looked like not to be confused with the Love Shack. Looked like a cool trailer. It did a teaser. Oh no, it was a trailer. And it looks like it's a, th a, th a thriller slash possibly has some horror elements. It, it looked involved. Like, like when he had the bag over his head. It almost looked like Shah Rukh Khan's one. That's coming that's out. what I thought of. The Jaw is that one Jawan? I forget the one of his I forget three them because he's got three coming out. Pathan. Yeah, I think it's Jawan. Jawan. I think you're uh, right because Donkey is the other one. Uh, but that it kind of reminded me of that. Why me are they uh, remake uh, Malayalam? God. <laughs> 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 Actually, the scarecrow had the bag over his head in Batman. Yeah, uh, before all that, it looked really cool. It looked like it's um, like a, a psychological thriller. Mm -hmm. Like, like Mamoudi's going to be a badass. Uh, 
Looks cool. What do yeah, you think? I did. I think it looked it looked cool too. I hope it falls into the ho- kind of sl- thrillery, horrory, scary. Especially this time of year, always looking forward to that, and don't see it a lot in Indian cinema. When I mean, we see thrillers quite a bit, but not the ones that fall a little bit more into the horror side of things. Which, by the way, another good one. What? Not as good as Last Shift, but still worthy of watch this Halloween season is a film called Lights Out. We watched that last night. It's very good. It capitalizes on your fear of the dark in a very original way. I don't have a fear of the dark. I was speaking about humanity I'm in not general. I'm racist, Rick. Wow, the fact that you would think that evidence is to the contrary. I don't see color. <laughs> uh, this was her, right? That was the one that I recognized. Yes, Grace, Grace Anthony. Anthony. She was in what? The, uh, Oh, she was in Combalance Unites. But I feel like something was more... Was she in the boxing movie? No. Um, Maybe I'm just... I guess it's just Combalance Unites. Hmm. Unless I'm wrong. But yeah, I recognize recognize her. Uh, And uh, Mamuti looks like he's going to be a bad at this. The stunt work's always fun to watch. Because like that guy, obviously, when he punched him and he did like three turns, it had to be wires, right? Yeah, probably. They had to, obviously, he could probably spin himself. But then to get those Mm. other turns, you you probably have to be on wires for that, I'd imagine. I would think you do. It depends. I mean, you could also get a running start and do that and probably get three in and hit the ground. I think he was just standing still, though, because he, he was just punching him. Yeah, but with the edit, mm-hmm. they, 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 that's another thing I'd love to do. I would love to have an opportunity to talk with some of the leading stunt choreographers and get a just idea of what stunt life is like for them in India. Oh, especially since there's so much. Of, yes, like, so much of and it. And also, like, over the top in terms of, uh, like, RRR in terms of, like... Yeah people just getting punched and then getting thrown across the room the stunt work in indian cinema has consistently defied the laws of physics which means that the stunt work is way beyond the kinds of things that are done here because the things that are done here for the most part are are within the realm of realism except for obviously superhero films yeah the superhero films then they go out of the out of, like basic. if the if the hulk punches you but obviously that's what indian cinema does differently yes is they have heroes in it that yeah. just are superhero like yeah. just because of who they are. Yeah. Like Mamoudi is one of those. But so. I would I'd love to see like back when I was a kid, the first like real legendary stunt man was a guy named Hal Needham. Lou Ferrigno. No. Oh. His name was Hal Needham. And there was actually I had a Hal Needham playset, which was a thing with like a breakaway thing in a bar and a table he could land on and it was an action figure play set for Hal Needham. It was the Hal Needham stunt set. And Hal Needham did all of Burt Reynolds' films. He did a lot of westerns. He did a lot of horse falls, a lot of high falls. And I, I would love to like see a compilation video of a stunt person like that from Indian cinema who is like a legend and has 50 years of stunt work to their credit and see all of the stunts. They, I bet we would see stunts and go, oh my God, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. It's Kamal son. No. No, he does everything. It's actually, Akshay does, is the one that does all of his own stuff, right? Yeah, that's true. Yeah, Akshay is the Tom Cruise of Indian cinema in regard that he you does see, his own stunts. You see Tom's new thing that he posted the other day? I don't think so. They announcing like, the filming of the next Mission Impossible or whatever. But he's on top of a prop plane. Oh, um, do you see that? No, I have not seen like, that. He's literally talking to the camera. He's standing on top of the prop plane. Talking about the film. It, and then he says, see ya, and then it just does like a flip <laughs> I, while he's standing on the plane. I think, I don't know if it's in this first part or the second part, and I don't know if he got permission to do it, but there was talk about wanting to do a stunt that left Earth at, Earth's atmosphere. Mm-hmm. So I don't know if that's in one of the Mission Impossibles, but... Anyways, yeah. let anyway. us know what you thought about the trailer. Yeah, it looks good. What the piece should be the next Mamoudi and Malayalam film that we watched. Let us know down below. Josh!